going to look at how you can use technology to solve your presentation problems. Being able to present ideas and pitch something is a skill that everyone is going to need no matter what their career. So this presentation is going to look at how you can use technology to help out. So I'm going to be working with five different tips and this video is just a little overview of what you want to look at. First of all, be simple in your presentation. Plan offline, whether that be post-it notes, an outline, sketching like a storyboard. Definitely don't open and start with technology, but rather think of what you want to present and then find the technology that works best for that. This link shows you some examples of really good design from noteandpoint.com. This is a great place to start if you want to design your own PowerPoint. So those visuals, if it feels like something that people have seen before, they're going to lose a little bit of interest. By creating your own master slides, you're automatically creating a level of interest in your presentation. You can also use PowerPoint to create your own graphics. So if you don't know something like Illustrator, if you don't have access to a designer, you can use some simple tools in PowerPoint to create some really interesting graphs and charts and icons. My next point is that you want to find a way to tell stories. So don't just tell people what the solution is, but present these narrative problems that help people reach solutions. Limit the time you spend talking about the problem. That's one or three slides at most. Find a way to tell a story around those problems and solutions. Make sure that you can clearly articulate the purpose of your presentation. Think of this as the thesis sentence, and everything you present should hang off of that sentence. Keep your audience first. Your audience and their needs are your primary concern. Where are they? Are they online, offline? Are they interacting? Are they with you? Are they collaborating? And then use technology to help make that happen. Some great things you can do. Things like polls. So this takes you to Kahoot, which is a fun way to do an interactive poll. And then Padlet, which is like an online whiteboard. You can look at other ways to gamify, to create quizzes, to create whiteboards. All of those ways of interaction will help you put your audience first. Next, include data visualizations. Especially if you are working with a lot of data, create that into a visual. Make it easy for people to digest the numbers. How can you do that? You can create those in Illustrator, and I've linked to some tutorials. You can also use some online tools to help you create beautiful data visualizations. Those are also linked here. If you have played with Canva, I encourage you to try things like Infogram. Finally, tell a cohesive visual story. As part of your offline planning, Think about what fonts do you want? What colors do you want? These sites help you look at the psychology of both font and color choice to make sure that you're sending the right message with those visuals. Next, I've provided links to Creative Commons images. You can't just go on Google and grab a photo. So use these great sources to find stock photography that works for you. Iconography is super popular and trendy. So there's two sites that I recommend. One is The Noun Project. The other is an app called Nucleo. And both of these sites allow you to access icons to use in your presentation. Other ways to help the look. Think about using Spark tools. This presentation you're looking at right here is created in Spark. Spark has a post, a page, and a video tool available for you for free. Just use your KU ID and log on. Next piece of technology is something called XD. So XD is used for web and app prototypes, but a lot of people are using it as a presentation tool. Now it does have some limits, so you can't link websites within it, but if you don't need to link to outside sources, this would be a fresh new look. Sometimes just a new look 
can help your presentation appear innovative and new. And again, I've linked some Photoshop tutorials to help you create cohesive looks and some Illustrator tutorials to help you design your own graphics and icons. So a few final secrets to think about. Think about knowing your audience. What do they need? What is their big takeaway? Where are they going to be working with your content? Second, be familiar with where you're presenting. So know the online tool or know the location. Have simple things like adapters and that the right equipment. And finally, double check everything. Before you release an online presentation, check all those links. Before you do a presentation in person, make sure all that technology is working for you. So this just gives you an overview. I encourage you to dive in, look at some of those links, and find out how you can use technology to help your presentations. Thank you.